With just days before Bahamians go to the polls, Minister of Agriculture and Marine Resources and Member of Parliament for Macau, the Honorable V. Alfred Gray, is taking aim at the stance taken by former Appeals Court President Dane Jones Sawyer. Now, Dane Joan, Dane Joan, pardon me, in public statements has declared the referendum a waste of time, suggesting that Parliament has the authority to make the proposed changes already. Minister Gray pointed out in an exclusive interview with ZNS News just why that option is not on the table. She is either wrong or not correct, either way, because bills could be passed in Parliament to do whatever you want. But we feel, as a government, that if the bills are passed, any incoming parliamentarian, any government, uh, could change it by a vote of the majority in Parliament. On the other hand, if those same legislative uh, provisions are put into the Constitution, those provisions cannot be changed unless by referendum of the people of the Bahamas. And that's why it is so important that the Constitution be the vehicle that is used to put into effect those things which we believe are correct and proper at this time. Minister Gray, an attorney by profession, says it's important to know the facts for yourself. He pointed out exactly why the route taken by the government to bestow the rights laid out in the four bills is critical. Judge, in no court could go outside the Constitution to make a, 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 a law of his own or a ruling which is in contravention of the Constitution. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land, and I am sure that every judge, every magistrate, every legal thinking person, quite frankly, any Bahamian, would know that if it is in the Constitution, it takes the Bahamian people to change it.